Good evening, J. Michael TX here, reporting on Friday, June the 17th, 2016, and I want to give you a demo of one of the great new features of Script Debugger 6.0. It concerns the use of script libraries, which were introduced in Yosemite. But Script Debugger goes the next level and gives you a list of all script libraries that are available on your system when you go to create a uh, use statement referencing that a library. So let's see how this works. Again, this is a demo of six, Script Debugger 6.0 script library features. So I'm going to click down here and scroll up. And the first one is at the top there, which is the most amount or the most automated of autocomplete. Autocomplete is one of the really great features of Script Debugger. So I'm just going to type in use. You probably know that to use a, a library, a script library in AppleScript, um, you may want to use a use command. So use, use, and then to invoke the script debugger autocomplete, I'm going to press escape. And it's going to show me various choices that could be used with use. But I'm interested in the use library command. So I'm going to arrow down to the one that you should recognize. Use live variable that's the reference name, script, name, and then version. So, I'm going to press return right here. And that puts that into the script debugger window. And it's already focused on live variable. So, I'm just going to call it my live. So, I just type my live and then tab to the library. Now, I need to pick my library name, but what if I don't remember it? Well, just press return and you get a list of all libraries installed on your system. So scroll down to the one you want and press return. And really you're done. Now, it adds one more feature that you may not be aware of, which is it provides the version name if you have a version property set on your script and you want to let your users know this version is required. If you don't, just highlight it and delete it. Now I'm ready to press Command K to accept um, my changes and compile. Okay, so I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to use any handlers in my script library. Okay, there's a second approach a little more hands-on. So if you want to type use my live script quote, and you notice when I when I type quote, the auto pairing of script debugger provides the closing quote. But again, if I'm here and I don't remember exactly the library name, just press escape. Same process as before. Arrow to the library you want, press return, same result. So, I hope this shows you how to make use of script libraries in Script Debugger 6.0, which is really a great application. Have a good day.